Hey, welcome back to After The Run. Uh, today is day two of my 10 day, 10 pound weight loss challenge. And today we're gonna be talking about the role of water in weight loss. Um, I wanted to do this episode because yesterday when I was doing research on if it's even safe and healthy to lose 10 pounds in 10 days or are there conditions where that can be healthy, one of the biggest factors in weight loss, especially in quick weight loss, is water. And so I wanted to just do a basic overview of the role of water in weight loss and in just long-term health. Um, I think I've done previous episodes on water and so this will be a, a little bit of a recap, um, but this is just so important and I don't think we talk about water enough. So first, um, when you are morbidly obese or overweight in any ways, it is highly likely that you are dehydrated. Um, this is very common in overweight people is that they don't drink enough water. And part of the reason they don't drink enough water is because the water that they do drink gets absorbed into their body in a different way from people who are eating cleaner. All right. So when you're eating sugary foods, when you're eating processed foods, um, a high carbohydrates, what happens is that water is absorbed into the food that you're eating and you retain water and you bloat. And that's why um, overweight people often look bloated um, because they're retaining that extra water. So they have that extra water weight. Now the irony is they have that extra water weight, but they probably don't have enough water in their body. They're probably not drinking enough. And what happens is you're, you're holding on to that extra bloating and you have that inflammation because of the food you're eating, but you're not drinking enough water. So it's really important that you drink a lot of water, whether you're overweight or not, because it makes your body function well. Um, it makes you process your foods better. Um, it helps just in just overall body function. Um, and that's why for men, you should have 50 to 65% um, body weight. It should be water. For women, it's slightly lower than that, like 45 to 55 or 60%. And what I found is when I lost a lot of weight, my percentage of body water went from, I was right around 44% when I was morbidly obese. And then as I got healthier, I, I started drinking a lot more water to where now I'm at right around 60%. So I'm at a pretty healthy level. That means I'm actually carrying a lot more water now, even though I'm 100 pounds less than I was before, I'm carrying an additional 20 or 30 pounds of water. So if I was as dehydrated now as I was when I was morbidly obese, I'd actually weigh considerably less. I'd be way closer to what they recommend for BMI and things like that. Um, but um, I'm still a pretty big guy. I still work out a lot and I run a lot. And so I need to drink water. Now the recommended... Um, daily water uh, for, for most people is eight, eight glasses. And when, they, when doctors recommend that, they're talking about eight ounce glasses. So you're looking at 64 ounces. Now, if you have an active lifestyle, you probably want more than that. I, in fact, I, I look to do double that during the winter months when I don't sweat as much and triple that in the summer when I'm sweating a lot. So during the summer, it's not uncommon for me to drink 200 plus ounces a day. Um, and the great thing about that is it just makes your body work well. It helps you with long-term weight loss. Um, in the short term, obviously drinking a lot of water, if you're drinking 200 ounces of water in a day, that's several pounds of water. And so my weight is going to fluctuate depending on when I last drank water. In fact, I've even seen that in this 10 day challenge. I expected to lose a lot of water weight up front because I've had a lot of sugary and processed foods lately. So I knew I was retaining water. So I predicted that I would lose up to five pounds in the first two days just because as I start to eat cleaner, I'm going to process and get rid of a lot of that junk that's in my system and a lot of the bloating and, inf and inflammation will go away. And I've actually seen that. I'm not as bloated now as I was even two days ago. Um, but I've also been doubling the water intake. And so I'm going to the bathroom all the time. I have a lot more water in my system. And so I've actually replaced that water weight plus some. In fact, I think um, if I was drinking the normal amount of water that I w was drinking prior to this challenge, I'd probably be three or four pounds lighter already and be at that five pounds weight loss that I thought I'd be at, but instead I'm at two to three pounds. So I've lost about a pound a day for these first two and a half days. So um, it's just interesting how that works. Now, um, as far as water goes, so it's interesting that you retain water when you're unhealthy 
when you are healthy and you're drinking a lot of water, you will need to go to the bathroom more often and things like that. So are there best times of the day to drink water um, and stuff like that? And I could find no medical advice on this. I didn't see any experts saying this is the best thing. The, the closest I could find is a lot of weight loss experts say, first thing when you wake up in the morning, drink a glass of water. Maybe you'll put some lemon in it. Um, I know Bob Harper recommends that. First thing when you wake up, have eight ounces of water. Um, I don't like to do that. Now, I still drink water pretty quickly within waking up, but right when I wake up, I don't feel in the mood for a glass of water. So I usually wait till I'm driving to work or doing something. Um, but I have found that drinking water early suppresses appetite. And that, that's true of any of your meals or any time if uh, eating during the day. One great thing of having more water in your diet is it does suppress your appetite. And so if you're drinking water before a meal, you're going to have less room in your belly for, for the food. And so that's great. Um, I try to drink um, a, a whole 40 ounce water bottle on my way home from work each day right before dinner. I usually actually go running right before dinner too. So I'm drinking 40 ounces, doing a short run, and then eating dinner. And I found that my appetite is is not as great on the days where I'm doing that than on the days where I maybe drink a little less or don't work out. So as far as appetite suppression, exercise is a great thing, but water also can really help with appetite. Um, as far as drinking your calories, this is another advantage of water. Obviously, water has zero calories, and so it's really good to drink water uh, because it's not adding to your weight as far as long term. But a lot of people gain a lot of weight really quickly by drinking their calories. And it, it's obvious, you know, with soda, with alcohol, they're high in calories, they're high in sugar, and so those are going to add weight to you. And in the wrong places and, and it will come quickly, it turns into fat. Um, but even the things that you would think are healthy, like fruit juice. I love fruit juice more than any other kind of drink. I love grapefruit juice, um, I, you know, there, almost any kind of juice actually, I just love it. But the problem with fruit juice is, even though it's, it, if you have 100% juice, it's still high in sugar, it's just natural sugar. Now, the problem with drinking a lot of natural sugar is it does it's high in calories um and it it does go it turns into fat um sugar just turns into fat that's what it does and so even with fruit juices you have to be careful um because you can easily you know just one normal bottle of fruit juice could have as much as 50 grams of sugar which is similar to a can of soda and so um you have to be really careful with anything that isn't water now, my last note there, and my wife and I argued about this quite a bit before I lost weight. She said, you know, diet sodas and carbonated uh, water, you know, the flavored water, that stuff is really bad for you. And she'd read a few studies and I'm like, no, if it's zero calories, how can it be bad for you? Uh, but what I found was, one, she's right. My wife's always right. Um, but two, firsthand I experienced this is what happens with flavored things, with artificial sweeteners or even natural sweeteners, is when you have sweet things in your system, it it um, makes you hungrier. It And so um, whatever the opposite of appetite suppressant is, it's, that is what happens when you have a diet soda, when you have a sugared water or just a flavored water. And so when I was drinking just carbonated zero calorie water, it was making me hungry for other things. And so I would eat more because I was drinking flavored water. And so once I switched over to just normal water, I, and I think you can do this with lemon. I rarely put lemon in my water just because I don't keep lemons on hand. Um, but when you switch over to normal water, you're it's you're not going to have a greater appetite because you drink. In fact, um, you can test this out. When you get a drink, uh, just start paying attention. Are you hungrier afterwards? Or are you less hungry? And uh, honestly, you're going to find that you're less hungry by drinking a lot of water. So water can be your friend in weight loss. Um, if you're looking for quick weight loss, just know that if you were eating unhealthy before, um, you can shed a lot of weight quickly just by getting rid of, rid of that bloating. And that's how you can lose up to 10 pounds in 10 days. Um, you can only safely lose a couple of pounds of fat in, in 10 days and, and you might lose a couple pounds of muscle. So you want to be careful with that. Um, the rest is going to be water. And so if you're going from a bad diet to a better diet, 
that doesn't need to necessarily be a red flag that you're losing water weight. It just means that you're not retaining as much water and bloating. However, please also increase your water intake because it'll just make your body um, work better. And so that's the balance in using water when you're dealing with quick, quick weight loss. Well, that's a lot of stuff really quick in 10 minutes. I hope this episode was helpful. Um, if you want to learn more about water, you can head on over to the blog and read about it there. All right. Good night.